I just realized that when I was setting up the RPR AVM widget that I didn't um, include something here for the for the domain. So let me just go over here and show you real quick. Um, let's see if I can find it under residential. Here's the AVM widget. So we're going to hit set up a widget. And right here, we enter up to five website domains or subdomains. So what I recommend that you do is you put in star.idxbroker.com as the first one. So we can show it on your IDX broker pages. Then put star.yourdomain.com. And then the other domain that we're going to want you to add in here is star.idxaddons.com. And so that gives us um, a way to show you some new tools that we're making. So then you update your widget, and now it's going to work correctly. And, and then I would just push publish again. And so that way, yep, that, those new changes get pushed. So you push publish widget, and then it'll all work. So that, that was the problem we were having with um, some folks. That was the problem we were having with some folks right here is that they, we didn't have you put in the correct domains in here. So uh, this isn't necessary. I don't know if this one is or isn't, but the, the, yours should say star.idxbroker.com, star.yourdomain. And then if you're using a, a C name or a custom subdomain on your IDX broker account, I would add that there, even though it shouldn't be necessary. And then star.idx add-ons. And once you get that, you should be good to go.